I will to show you some statistics about social media. Okay, so you have so you see what we're talking about when we say that it is not just a fad, not just a fashion, but it is actually a revolution. Now, let's take a look at Twitter. So the total number of active registered users on Twitter is 550 million users. Uh, the ones that sign up every day are 135,000. Okay, the average number of tweets per day is, is 58 million. Can you imagine 58 million tweets are sent on a daily basis? And these 58 million tweets, most of them are people talking about what they did in their lives, what product they tried, what brand they have tried, what they like, what they didn't like, etc. So just imagine the load of data we have just by accessing Twitter and by seeing what people are sharing on Twitter. Some statistics about Facebook. The total number of mostly active Facebook users is 1.1 billion persons. Out of them, you have over 50% accessing Facebook from mobile phone. Okay. And the total number of minutes spent on Facebook each month is 700 billion minutes, which is a huge huge number, okay, making it perhaps after YouTube, uh, the, the site that is the one we spend the most on whenever we go to the internet. For Instagram, Instagram is still rather new compared to the others, but you have to know that you have 130 million users, more than 15 billion photos have been uploaded, and every second you have 58 photos that are uploaded. I think that this number is even growing as we speak. For Foursquare, the total number of Foursquare users is 40 million. The total number of check-ins is 3.5 billion. Uh, the total number of Foursquare business pages is 1.3 million. So just for you to know what Foursquare is, whenever you have a restaurant, a shop, a mall, etc., Foursquare is like a GPS-based uh, social media that where, where people would check in Okay, anytime they come to to visit your your shop or your outfit, uh, they can leave tips about it, they can rate it, and you can also share with them some specials, some some promotions, etc. So whenever, for instance, you are they are in the in the vicinity of your outfit, they can open their Foursquare and then they see your special. So for instance, they will see your promotion and then this will drive more traffic directly to your outfit. For LinkedIn, it is the world's largest professional networking site with over 200 million members in over 200 countries. And you have to know that uh, you have over 2.6 million companies that have LinkedIn pages. Finally, YouTube, uh, you have 60 hours of video that are uploaded to YouTube every minute. So just imagine the importance of the video content nowadays. Okay, it is no longer about text, it's no longer about articles and news, it is mostly about visual, visual being videos and photos. Uh, you have uh, 4 billion videos viewed on a daily basis on YouTube. Okay, you have 800 million people, unique visits actually, to YouTube every month, which means that uh, if I visit YouTube, uh, 30 minutes, uh, sorry, 30, 30 times per month, I'd count it as one person because we were talking about unique visits. Okay. Uh, the total number of hours of videos watched on YouTube each month is 3 billion hours. Okay, so this will give you an idea of the real revolution we are talking about whenever we say social media and how important it is for you to be on social media for your business. So, social media is where everyone is, okay? And the reason why you need to be on social media is to hear your customer's opinion and enhance your products and services. Because when you do an ad on, advert, on, on let's say, television, okay, you cannot directly know if the customers like the ad or the product itself or the brand, etc. However, if, if you post the same on social media, you can directly hear your customer's opinion and accordingly, you can enhance your products and services on the spot. You can engage with your customers and talk to them directly. You can launch new products with nice visuals. 
you can tell a story that people can relate to. So for instance, if you are opening a restaurant, you can start by telling the story of the location itself, then slowly building on how the restaurant is being built and slowly build towards the opening of the restaurant while revealing some items of the menu, of the decor, etc. And then until opening day. So by opening day, for instance, people can also can still or can start relating to everything that they have heard from the story of the restaurant. And finally, you can organize competitions and promotions that reward customers. So for instance, you can say something as simple as, okay, posting the, the picture of the platter and asking the, uh, your friends to guess what that platter is. And whoever guesses what that platter would, would win, for instance, a dinner for two at the restaurant. So this is a great way for you to reward your fans, okay, and the people who have been engaging with your page for a while.